With the master number 22, on top of the basic characteristics of the number 4, you have added strengths and also more intense challenges. Your special mission is to execute and build projects that will benefit a wide arena of humankind. You are a master teacher. This is a spiritual path, like all the master numbers, that prod you to step out of the slow, steady security of the number four and kick it up substantially. And this will be uncomfortable for you until you get the hang of it, because it's contrary to the pull you have with that more rule-following, more predictable energy of the four. Remember, you're a double two, which is all about harmony and love, and yet also that four. It's all about process and stability. So you come to come around with some special challenges to fulfill your mission. You'll use all the hardworking, step-by-step qualities of the four while tapping into a higher level of purpose and action. You'll learn to take risks which is a hard one for the four, and look towards setting higher stakes with your enterprises. You're the master builder extraordinaire, so look toward building solid foundations to your enterprise with the big picture in front of you at all times. You can institute systems that can rock the world. You'll most likely be challenged with not feeling up to the task or even entitled to do something that might take you into a bigger enterprise or fame and fortune. You might even cringe at the idea of making a lot of money, given the energy of that four is more about feeling a sense of security, not necessarily manifesting abundance. And while it, it sounds like a small detail, mentally this can really drag you down. You're being pushed toward bringing spiritual practices down to the material, day-to-day -day world. An example I like to use is Oprah Winfrey. She has this 22-4 energy. As, she's this perfect example of the master teacher in action. If you ask Oprah, she will tell you that she's always known she's a teacher, first and foremost. She had every possible reason to play it small, and yet she chose the wider arena and is keyed into this master energy, and through her work has been the conduit for millions of people to change their lives for the better and become more spiritually aware. This is the outcome of aligning with the energy of the 22. There are always issues that you will be challenged with. Avoid your stubborn streak and a tendency to be a know-it-all. Gather your supporters around you. Set up the systems to make it work and hand over some of the responsibilities to others because if you find yourself doing it all, you aren't living up to your 22 life path. The bottom line is this. With a master path number 22, you are at your best when you embrace and act upon your practical wisdom and higher sense of purpose. You're a master teacher and have a gift for manifesting amazing things that are meant to change the practical day-to-day -day lives for a lot of people. You're at your best when you're manifesting practical ideas into this tangible action. So ask yourself, what am I most passionate about? And then pursue something in that arena and dream big.